All right, game one, boys. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Hinkle. Yeah. Take the orange off. We're in black. Hey now everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Exit Ecatella. My name is... No, but really, my name is Corey Hinkle and thank you for tuning in. This is our very first episode and I'm glad to be here. Let me give you an idea of how things are going to be going. So, I'll be doing game recaps for all Ducks games, starting with game one of the first round, which probably kicks off sometime Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. So I'll be doing a game recap of that the day after. And I'll be doing series recaps for all Angels games starting after this opening weekend series against Seattle at the Big A. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to the topic of today's video. So instead of a game recap, I decided to kick off this channel with a topic that, as you saw at the beginning of this video, it pisses me off. And I know it pisses off a lot of other Ducks fans out there, and it's the orange jerseys and the lack of usage going into the playoffs with this. So these jerseys debuted two years ago and the Ducks have the best opportunity to promote it with their painted orange slogan for the playoffs, yet they never fucking do it. The Ducks again for the second season are probably not gonna be wearing these. They're gonna be going with the original blacks because for some reason they have an orange complex. So how the hell can you promote painted orange as much as you do, tell the fans during the regular season when they're wearing this jersey, yet when you have the perfect opportunity to promote your slogan, promote your brand new jersey, knowing that it's not going to be around next season, yet you still go with the black jerseys for the playoffs. I mean, honestly, look at what other teams around the league are doing and how cool it is to see the team and the fans all together united as one. You have Nashville with their ugly, ugly ass mustard yellow jerseys, or as they call gold. And then you have Calgary up north with their sea of red. And then even Philadelphia, they wear orange. They wore orange for their playoff runs. And then of course, the LA Kings, even them and their fans, they match. Take a look. All right, I had to take at least one shot at the Kings, right? And that brings me to the next topic the Ducks social media and their lack of communication with the fan base. The fans have been asking more and more, where are the orange jerseys? Wear them in the playoffs. Hell, last Thursday against Winnipeg when they announced that this is the final time this season you'll get to see the Ducks in the orange, every single comment, ba ba ba, comment, 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 wear the orange jerseys for the playoffs. Are you going to wear the orange jerseys for the playoffs? Why is Clayton Stoner still on this team? Why is Kevin Bieksa still on this team? Among other questions. But that gets to the point. They don't listen. They really don't care. It truly is amazing how often the Ducks swing and miss going for opportunities to interact with the fans and promote certain things. Look at a couple years ago for Fan Appreciation Night. They did player mean tweets from all of us online, except they were all fake. Having to steal from Jimmy Kimmel, really Mark Ruffalo? That's the face you're going to go with for really Kessler. That's the face you're going to go with. I mean, come on, be original for once. Please take a risk. Do something bold. I know now that they're finally starting to interact more at Honda Center when the Kings and other rivals come into town. They do stupid little things. That's cool. Finally, you're taking a step in the right direction. But this one is bullshit. How do you not wear these jerseys? I mean, I get it, okay? A lot of people complain that, oh, it's hard on the eyes on TV, or you can't see the back uh, numbers and names that well, or the league specifically told them they can't wear them. But I refuse to believe that the NHL called up Bob Murray and said, we can't let you wear these orange jerseys. I assume Gary Bettman gave Bob Murray a call, and it went a little something like this. Hey, Bob, Gary Bettman here. How's it going? Gary, why are you calling me? A restraining order is a restraining order. 500 feet and no phone calls. 
Okay, Bob, I know, I know. I will hang up as soon as I can. I just need to get one thing by you first. All right, the league and I really want you guys to wear the orange jerseys this postseason run. We think it's a great chance for you guys to get some more sales on these jerseys, to promote the jerseys, and to make Honda Center a true painted orange scene. Look, Gary, I am very busy right now. I don't have time for this crap. I'm currently talking with Clayton Stoner on an eight-year, $60 million extension. So please stop calling me. Enough is enough. In reality, Bob probably hung up the phone the second he heard Gary's voice. Which honestly isn't that surprising considering how the Ducks social media team treats the fans online. So will we see the Ducks finally listen to the fan base? Will they finally wear these jerseys for the playoffs? I highly doubt it because, you know, fuck us, right? But I want to hear what you guys think. Leave a comment down below and let me know whether you're in favor of the orange jerseys, whether you're okay with the black jerseys, or if honestly you really just don't give a fuck. Like the video and subscribe, spread it like mumps in an Anaheim Ducks locker room, and let's see if the Ducks will finally pay attention and listen to the fan base and wear the orange. And remember folks, just because you're offended by something doesn't mean you're right.